This video is brought to you by ExxonMobil Aviation Lubricants. Sonic's aircraft is headed by John Monnet. The 2001 EAA Hall of Fame inductee has fathered at least 14 original designs, including the Moni, Sonorai, and seen here, the Sonex. The aerobatic two-seat side-by-side aircraft will cruise at 150 miles per hour using an 80-horsepower AeroV Volkswagen engine conversion, now offered by Aero Conversions, a product line of Sonex. It's the engine of choice among many Sonex aircraft builders, but all that could soon change. Sonex has launched the E-Flight initiative to establish electric and ethanol-based alternative power for future aircraft. Monnet made one example available to us and walked us through the basics of the program. What you're going to see is a, little, uh, is, a different, is a different power plant for an airplane. The unfamiliar scene under the cowling spurred Monnet's lighter side and soon showed why he's also an EAA Hall of Famer. <laughs> Atomic power. Now, uh, what you're looking at is a DC brushless motor, a controller unit that controls this battery pack. And this battery pack consists of 800 cells. It puts out 270 volts at 200 amps. So the motor you're looking at um, is equivalent to the power that we put out with an Aero V engine. The whole package uh, the, the motor, the controller, the batteries are about equivalent to an Aero-V engine equipped Sonex with a full gas tank. This, the motor weighs about 50 pounds. The battery pack is about 200 pounds. The airplane will be capable of flying an hour on one charge. Um, if we do an aerobatic routine with it and we use full power all the time, we'll have about 16 to 18 minutes of flight time, which is fine for an aerobatic flight. Um, it's uh, obviously it's a pretty small looking motor, but it's uh, probably the most sophisticated uh, a, a brushless DC motor made. Um, and we expect it to be well over 90% efficient, as well as the controller for it. The batteries are, the, the, the neat thing that we're developing is we're developing the motor and the controller unit. So the, that's the significant part. Uh, the battery technology can change and is, is changing. So uh, what we drive this motor could be a battery system, it could be a fuel cell. Uh, it's a pretty lethal pack, but so is a gas tank full of gas. So we have to treat it the same. So we have 10 battery packs. Each pack, uh, each separate battery container has eight packs of 10 cells. So there's 800 cells altogether, all of which have to be monitored and particularly in a charging cycle. And then in a discharge cycle, it's not a, as big an issue, but uh, we use, we're using some very efficient cells, the most efficient cells available right now, and newer ones are on the way as we speak. So um, we're, that's the, the, big, the big thrust now, is to use this airplane as a demonstrator, since we have a proven airframe, uh, as a demonstrator to show what we can do with it and then the motor is completely scalable, the motor system, so that in the near, uh, not too distant future, we can design an airframe specifically for the system. Uh, if we wanted to make it twice as powerful, it's just twice as long. So it's a, it's a, a completely scalable. Uh, it'll take, uh, out of a normal 110 outlet, uh, outlets, uh, the charging system will charge it in 24 hours. It's an aero conversions product. Um, to have the motor of, and the system available for other uses, and some of those may be military, um, that's the, the goal of it, yes, not only for our own use, just like we do with our ROV engines. The grassroots effort to push technology, advance our sport, and improve our planet's ecosystem, and it's been accomplished by EAA members, who may, within years, be offering it to you.